Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today I just wanted to share with you a new little series that I want to do. Um, it's a new type of video for me because it's pretty much real time and not really planned out. So it is going to be Scrappy Time with Caroline. And the idea is I used my rolling cart now for all my scrappy bits and my finished products. And I'm trying to use up all those bits and pieces that have been laying around and doing nothing. So this is my one of my scrappy boxes just full of all kinds of little bits pieces and the idea I just want to share with you what I'm ma making what I'm doing with all the bits and pieces that I have and just sharing with you how I do my process in the whole thing and I already did up a bunch of these and then I thought oh this is a good idea. So I'm going to make a few more to show you how I made them. I made about 20 of these so far. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to show you a little video of my rolling craft cart, now referred to as my scrappy cart. And then we'll get back on with the project. Okay, so we've all seen these cases. I buy mine at Michael's. They're for the photographs and they have all those cases inside. So the other day, I wanted to start using up a lot of my scraps and unfinished projects and whatnot. So what I did was I've added all those containers to my little rolling cart. So I now call it my scrappy cart. So my goal is to start using up a lot of the stuff, finish up a lot of the started projects, and make everything to a usable state. I've got them all labeled on the top and on the side to find it easy. I've also got my little scrap container that I put all kinds of fibers in, odds and ends of all kinds of stuff. So let's get back to our project. Okay, so now that you know what my scrappy cart looks like, I've got, I'm starting with these. Now I did these uh, probably two years ago and they've just been sitting. And they are just scrappy strips and I've stapled them together. I made little clusters of banners with them. And I'm going to start by using some of them up. So I have those there. So let's move these little. I'll show you some of these finished ones in a bit. Now I tend to lay a bunch of projects out when I'm doing this. And then I do everything in stages. I find it easier. So more like a, an assembly line. So I've got some little odds and ends of appliques. This butterfly I'm going to trim up a little bit. So we're just going to do a few of them just to give you an idea of what's going on. And I hope you enjoy this little series. Uh, I've got lots of scrappy stuff, so I'm sure that there will be quite a few videos in this series. Just trying to get off all those little extra pieces there to there we go 
usually my tutorials and stuff I have everything laid out so I'm gonna do five more so I'm just gonna pick out five little things that I like I like them all but and there's quite a big one maybe a little too big for what I'm thinking oh there's one that's kind of long and skinny so we've got the five of those and I have all those in here it says banners as I use stuff up then I'm going to fill my card up with more stuff so first off I'm going to glue these together because all that I did was staple them together so I will just take a moment and just glue all five of these up just a little bit of glue just to hold them together a little bit glue was clogged up a little bit that's better and this is one reason why I'm, I kind of do things in the stages because I find it in the long run it goes faster for me anyways um, then I'm not forever having to put the pin in and out of my glue or stuff like that. But I know lots of people are, are busy using up their scraps and, and whatnot. So... They've kind of motivated, motivated me to use up all mine and get things more to a usable state. So that is done. So with these ones, they're all kind of the same, but all different. I really like using this gold colored stuff and I used it on all of them. So I'm going to cut out five these a little piece for e each one of them and if I'm doing 10 20 30 however many um, at times I've done up towards 50 items of one type and then we've got some little bits and pieces of eyelash trim and here again I try really hard not to overthink it all because I'm bad for that and then I never get anything done that's why these videos are, will actually kind of quite be out of my comfort zone because I do like to have everything just laid out and everything just kind of perfect so this will be different so now this one here I don't need to color. Let's actually do that one on there. But these I'm going to actually color with some ink. So I've got some milled lavender to start with. And I'm just going to use one of these little finger daubers. And I'm just going to color the butterfly just because I don't want it that white. I don't do many things with white. So then you get a little colored butterfly. And let's do a, one of the flowers in this as well. And just dress inks color this quite well. I'm sure any ink would color. It, I tend to use Distress Inks and Distress Oxides. The other ink that I really like is Color Box. So there is now a purple butterfly. Let's switch to a different color. How about a Spiced Marmalade? 
And another finger dabber. I have a finger dabber for every color. This is quite a nice orangey color. And I am going to eventually use my hot glue gun, which I have plugged in already. I don't usually use a hot glue gun, but it is nice for gluing on the buttons or the appliques, etc. Okay, so I don't need my little book anymore. So now I've got them all to this stage. Now the other thing I'm going to use is I have some circle die cuts. And I just have to reach over to my cart and everything that I would need to decorate a journal, to make embellishments, etc. is in this cart. I do have more stuff that's not in the cart. But eventually, I want to use stuff up. So I'm just going to take, pick through some of my circles, find a few that I can just add to these. Now, I like using these because um, on them you can see the circle. This one had little hearts cut out of it. But I just like it gives a little bit of stability where I'm putting all the stuff. So, you're not really going to see it. So it's not super important what colors they are, but I tend to pick out certain colors anyways. Just because. i put a little bit bigger one behind the butterfly. I need one for that one, so let's... Actually yellow would go good behind that flower. Okay. And then I can just drop that container back into my scrappy cart. And now I'm just going to ink up the edges of all these circles. It helps so they don't quite stand out quite as much. Now these you could use them as just them under a page, you could put them on an envelope, you could do all kinds of things with them once they're at this stage of the game. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish is just have my stuff in a more usable state. Then I can just grab and go. I know Tina has done some great um, videos on mass building stuff and whatnot. So this is sort of the same idea. Okay. So now that pretty much takes care of all the ingredients on each thing. So then eventually I'm just going to layer it up. You know, nothing fancy. So the finished project will be something like so. Okay, so I'm going to add some of these leaves. I'm just going to pull a few out. Just something to add a little bit extra dimension. Um, a lot of times I'll take my scrap paper and I will cut die cuts out and stuff. So I have quite a few leaves. And also have a whole bunch of these ones from the Tim Holtz dies, which are really nice. And again, my nice little containers in my scrappy cart. Okay, so I'm not going to um, distress those at all or anything like that. So then I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I'm just going to glue down 
certain pieces because I like to use different things for different things. Paper to paper, I really like the art glitter glue now. It's my main glue. And to put down, oh, I'm going to put this down first. And if that sticks out, that's okay. Let's just put down some glue here. And glue that down there. So now I've got some um, double-sided little tape. This was just, I think it's a creative memories thing, but um, I've got so many different kinds that I've gotten from people. People have given it to me. Um, I've bought stashes from people and it's had bits and pieces. So I'm eventually using up all of this type of stuff. So I'm just going to put a piece of this double-sided tape across the top. I'm not too picky on how it goes down or anything like that. So that's going to just pretty much hold the eyelash trim down till I can do the actual gluing part. So I'm just going to, and I always tend to do it in a little circle. So now that's going to be ready for the hot glue in a second. So now I'm going to do all five of these pretty much in the same fashion. And then I can hot glue gun them all at the same time. As I say, I find it faster doing it that way. And it's easier and, and usually most things that I do, I tend to do a whole bunch at a time. And working really hard not thinking too much about it. And a lot of these things, when they're gone, then they're gone. And like this double-sided tape, I wouldn't buy any more of it. Not that anything is wrong with it. It's just that I don't use it as often as I should. Okay, this one. Now well, sometimes when I staple, the staples stick up a little bit too much, so I just take my players and I just flatten them down. Makes the back flatter. And then I don't have to worry about it sticking up in the air. And I'll do these and I'll have a movie or something playing on the computer or more often YouTube and I just work away at them until I've done however many I'm going to do. As I say, the double-sided tape is purely just to hold the eyelash trim in place until I glue the applique on the top. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing good. And everybody's staying busy. I know I am. I keep busy doing my craft stuff. And I also do some volunteer work at Santa's Anonymous, which we do all year long. Because we do do birthdays as well. And, and it's just... It, an organization we help low-income families in our town with Christmas gifts for their kids and I really like it okay one more to go at this stage 
So I will do these with, with different things, like um, I've used up all my little scraps pretty much of the little flowers and whatnot. So the next ones, maybe I'll do something different on the, on the front. I've got some wooden butterfly buttons or um, I've got some crocheted flowers as well. So you can use anything for your scraps. Some I've used, this one I used a little piece of a doily. So you can use anything, any scraps whatsoever on these that you like. But when I started junk journals, everything had to be even and straight. And I've been working hard at not thinking about it. Just do it. And I watch a lot of um, craft with me videos and whatnot. And I love seeing how people um, do their own thing in, in doing them. Okay, so now that part is done. So now time for the hot glue. And I just have a little glue gun. And I have this little glass dish which I put my glue gun in. In other words, um, I get the glue all over the table. Like all over the table. One of the reasons I do not like glue, hot glue guns, is the strings of glue you get. Those drive me crazy. Okay, so I've got that. I'm just going to put my little gold piece of netting on the top. Put a little bit of hot glue on the back side of this. And I'm just going to glue that down kind of in the middle of that circle. And the good thing about long fingernails is I use my nail to push down the glue. And I don't know if you can see those strings right there, but when I'm all done, I usually go and I check them all over really good and make sure that I've gotten all those off. So, this is one of the ones I colored orange. So, I'm just going to put that down. Sorry if my hands are in the way. But I'm going to do this with all five of these. I really enjoy doing um, like a mass make of stuff although I usually end up I uh, seem to end up putting a lot of the stuff on Etsy and then I don't keep any for myself but we do tend to accumulate a lot of stuff it seems and the trick is using it up and that one there you can't see very much of my leaf that I put underneath but that's okay so as I say this will be a little series every time I go to use something in my cart and make something. I'm going to do a little video on it. Just on my different projects. Um, I'm going to be tea dyeing a bunch of index cards and Rolodex cards, I think, very soon. So I'll do a little video on that as well. But I have lots of scrappy bits to use up. Hope I've been staying in frame. Always forget to check that my work is in frame. So this is the fifth one. Some of 
these I might add a little bling in the middle. So there is the five. Well, I don't think that took very long. Now my fingers are all glued up. So then I will just pick them up and I will just make sure that I got all those strings off from the glue. But now they're ready to use. You can just glue them down to your page or on a tag, a journal card, envelope, anything. So I think they turned out really good. Here's some of the ones I made earlier. And I actually kind of like this one with the button. And I don't know if it's going to show up, but when I push the button down, the glue comes up out of the holes of the button. But it actually came up quite nice and even, so each little button has a little plastic blob on the top of it. I think that turned out really cool. So yeah, so that makes about 25 or 30 of these. And it probably took me maybe an hour to do my first batch. They went quite quick because of the fact I already had all the banner shapes made. But I like them. I hope you like them as well. You never know. Always check out my Etsy because you never know what I'm going to put in there. I want, as I say, I want to try and save some of this stuff for myself for when I'm doing a journal. I like this one. I love the colors of that one. But quick, simple, easy. So there are those goodies. Give it a try and I hope you've enjoyed your scrappy time with Caroline and we'll see you in number two soon. Bye for now.